In the following clips, please ignore this hair. Hello everybody, welcome back. It's Theodora here and today we're going to be doing a tear apart opening up a camera type of video. I actually recently went to my Goodwill outlet. Well, a, a Goodwill outlet recently opened in my state. So I decided to go and the first day I went, I found a treasure and now I'm dedicated for life at Goodwill outlet. It's like, there's so many good treasures there. The camera that I'm going to be fixing is the Polaroid SX70 One Step. Um, this camera came out years and years and years ago, um, and this and the One Step Two is actually a remake of this camera. And I'm just so excited. You should have seen my face. Well, I well I really couldn't see my face either. I was just like, oh my god, look at it! It's the SX70 One Step, and I've always wanted one of these. It's just like a classic camera that everybody should have. Yeah, that doesn't sound normal. So, we're gonna be opening that up and trying to figure out what's that noise. And I'm really hoping it's the red shutter button that it's that's supposed to be here. I mean, it still has the shutter button, but it doesn't have like the cap, the red cap that's supposed to go on top of it. And I'm really hoping that um, whoever used to own it just decided, hey, I'm just, if I can't fix it, maybe somebody else will. So I'm just gonna throw it in the camera and maybe they can find it somehow like that. So it's what I'm really hoping for right now. Also, to make it clear, I have no idea what I'm gonna be doing in this camera. I'm just gonna be tearing it apart and maybe I'll fix it. Maybe I won't be able to fix it. So we will see. Um, so don't take it as me trying to fix this camera and showing you how to fix it. Um, it's simply just me opening this camera up and seeing what I could potentially do. So, yep. Yeah, without further ado, let's get right into it. Just heated it up and now I'm just gonna pour it right off. Guys, look what I found. I found the button. I found the shutter button. I was right. Yes. So. <laughs> I'm just gonna do some cleaning because there's like spider webs and stuff in there. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna clean that. Take this out now to clean. 
clean it. This is an entirely new one. After various attempts of trying to take this apart and also breaking some stuff, I decided not to take this part out because it's just too risky. This camera is so old, I really don't want to destroy it. So we're just going to clean it what we can. And um, yeah. We'll call it good. I really want to clean the mirror inside because that looks kind of dusty. But I can't. Maybe one of these days. I've opened this one before. Like the whole thing. And I was able to take out the whole like main body of the camera inside out. Um, but... I really cannot do it with this one and this camera is just so old and I really don't want to break it so we're just gonna leave it like this so we're just gonna be cleaning what we can I need to clean this um, light meter cuz you know that's important Oh my god, guys, this is gross. This is so nasty. Okay. But 
let's put it together now. Oh my god, I really cannot believe I found this. Let's Thought it was long gone. Okay. I forgot about this. strap because I'm pretty sure this strap is nasty so what I have in here is Clorox bleach for color and I'm just gonna dip it in here and this is my um, dog's toothbrush that I got from that I got from PetSmart and I'm just gonna soak it in After doing all of that cleaning, I use one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, not even ten q tips. I use nine q tips, and you guys probably can't see it because it's really exposed. But look, look at that. Ew, that's like a huge chunk right there, too. Oh my god, that is nasty. Ew. Okay, so I wasn't really able to show you guys the cleaning of the strap, but I actually took it um, outside to a sink and I put um, Clorox um, color for color and then I did a really nice hot rinse and washed the strand. Yeah, and the water was yellow as expected. It's so dirty. Yeah. I... I don't know what they did to this poor camera, but it's a bit cleaner now. I mean, I've done what I could. But I'm just so happy now that this is complete. It has a button. So freaking cute, guys. Moment of truth. I'm going to put a film canister inside. Yeah, this is a film can canister for 600 film. But I'm going to try and put it in here because I've tried putting it in like other film other cameras before it should work i mean like their strips right the the battery strips are in there and there's battery here so hopefully it works okay oh my god it works guys Um, I mean, like, there's no film in here. Oh my god, it works. Turns on, guys. Okay, let's see if this guy makes the same. Let's see if this guy makes the same sound. No, why are you no work? so sad. This one doesn't actually work. Okay, 
Okay, so it's definitely, it's definitely, this camera is broken. That's so sad. Poor guy. You're broken? Uh, oh well. At least this guy works. Alrighty guys, thank you so much for watching this video and watching me attempt to kind of sort of fix this. I mean, this really wasn't really broken to begin with, but I was able to find the button inside, so that's what I kind of sort of fixed, but it was mostly cleaning up this camera. This camera was so incredibly dirty. It's it's gotten my hand really sticky. I believe it's like some sort of oil residue or something. I don't know, maybe they were cooking and they left this on the kitchen counter and oil got all over it or something. I don't know, but it's so freaking dirty and I was able to clean it and now, I mean, it's not like really, really clean, but I, I don't know, I think I've done what I can to make it clean, um, but yeah, this is the camera and I'm so happy that it works. I'm sad about my other SX70 camera, but it's whatever. I mean, like that camera looks pretty crappy to begin with, so I'm really happy that this one works though, so yep. Thank you so much for watching you guys and I'll see you guys next time in another camera video, drama video, I don't know. I'll see you guys next time in another video. Okay, goodbye.